All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, Wawar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I just wanted to do a quick skillful adding, all right, a little lamb backing off of um, the lesson that we did last night, which um, I don't believe um, I don't believe it's going to get posted because um, the elder Uriah's phone cut off right as we were ending. But um, point being though is uh, last night. You know, we had um, a get together after camp and that's because uh, two of the younger brothers, they have to leave Chicago. And, um, you know, we wanted to break bread. You know, we uh, exhorted the young men to continue in the faith. Okay. And with that being said, towards the uh, very end of the night, Elder Uriah made a statement. You know, he said something under the lines of, you know, we're not always going to, you know, be losing and eventually we're going to get the win. All right. And, you know, what I like to say, you know, personally is, look, you know, we uh, we get these small little, you know, L's, okay, from time to time throughout our walk to eventually get what? That big W, okay? And I'll say this, you know, hey, it's coming, brothers, man. You know, as we, you know, we were talking about last night, it's coming soon. Things are moving. Hey, these prophecies are, you know, coming to pass, all right? And hey, the things that we've been preaching about for years, decades, okay? Are um, you know they're they're in real time right now. You see, all right. But uh, but point being though is you know like the elder Uriah said, you know hey you know we're eventually gonna get that you know that win. Okay, we're eventually gonna get that win. See the things that we're going through right now, it's just but for a moment. Remember that, brothers. Whatever you're going through, it's just but for a moment. And I know brothers are going through it. Hey, you, you know some brothers have financial issues. Other brothers are dealing with relationship issues. Hey, some brothers can't see their kids or have never seen their kids. Okay? You, you got, you know, brothers dealing with physical ailments. Okay? Brothers dealing with, you know, uh, you know, demons messing with their minds. And they're constantly fighting this, so on and so forth. You know, hey, we're going through it. Well, remember, this is just for a moment. Eventually, the Lord is going to stop this. He's going to say, okay, enough's enough. Hey, their punishment's over. And, you know, Yahweh's going to say, I'm going to send my son Yahweh Shai down, you know, which is Yahweh's right hand. And he's going to save, you know, the, you know, his people, the elect. All right, the Israelites. The elect of the nation of Israel, you see? But uh, let's get this. And uh, we'll start off with this right here in uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. And it reads, for our light affliction. Okay, I'm going to read that again. For our light affliction, you see? This is a light affliction, Akim. This is not, you know, over the top. And really, we're getting punished less than what we deserve. And you know what? I'll get that real quick. All right, I'll get that real quick in um, the book of Ezra. All right, the Ezra, the ninth chapter says that we're getting pu punished less, less than what our iniquities deserve. You see? This is, uh, so with that being said, really... Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has, you know, great mercies. Because really he could have, you know, you know, uh, eliminated us, you know, for the, you know, evil acts and deeds that we've done as a nation. But the Lord loves us. Okay? He's not going to break his promise that he's made, you know, with our forefathers. And he's going to, you know, forgive us, you know, he's going to, uh, you know, not, you know, for, uh, for, forgive us, you know, for our sins. Okay? That's beautiful. Well, let's get this. This is Ezra 9 and 13, and it reads here. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds, you see these, you know, things, all right, these trials, tribulations, these afflictions, hey, they've come upon us because of our evil deeds. Remember that. You know, we're getting punished because we've messed up. Okay? You know, hey, we got to take accountability. We got to, as the scriptures say in uh, the, the book of Micah, I think it was it 7 and 9, I believe. It says, uh, the, the, the prophet Micah said, now, I'm going to bear the indignation of the Lord. Okay? You know, roughly paraphrasing it. And we got to have that same mindset. Hey, 
But we got to deal with the, you know, the afflictions that the Lord gives us because, hey, we messed up. Okay? And it says, uh, I'm going to read it again. This is Ezra 9 and 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, our power, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. You see? We've been punished less than our iniquity, iniquities uh, deserve. Okay? Like I said, we really should all... And they'll be put to death because honestly what did the scripture say in, uh, in the book of exodus i believe the 20th chapter says that if you you know basically praise other gods the lord's gonna you know kill you that's the first commandment man he's a jealous power and we've all praised other gods at some point okay you know so the lord has great mercy you know that that's that, that's just one you know great sin that we've all committed and there's other things that you know we, we, we've done okay and you know we should be put to death for it all right so it's a beautiful thing that the lord you know has got us you know where we're at on oh, salaki this train's bypassing is a little loud salaki about that what um oh well, it's a beautiful thing that the lord you know has mercies and you know he's uh you know, has given us this opportunity to, you know, give, you know, back on point. All right, but let's keep reading. It says, um, seeing that our power, that thou our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance at this time. Okay. So point being is that, you know, we're getting punished less. All right, but let's uh, hop back into that second Corinthians. All right. Come on, let's go. So like, give me one moment across the street. All right, so let's, let's get back to that Corinthians that we were reading, okay? This is uh, back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 17. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. You see, it's but for a moment. It's, it's not going to last forever. Eventually, we're going to get that big W, Akim. We're not going to get these little L's anymore. They, you know, that stack up and wear on us. We're going to get that big W. And it, we're going to have eternal rest soon. Okay? Let me keep reading. It says, it says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal way to glory. Okay? It's beautiful. So look, man. At the end of the day, we're going to have, you know, the best kingdom ever. You know, hey, we're going to be perfect. And the eyes of Yahweh Shema and that's because of the second covenant is going to be granted to us and we're going to have it in us which that's that's basically us having the laws in our minds perfectly so we'll never sin again okay we're going to have new bodies because with that comes uh, the new bodies you know but well, we're never going to die we're going to be immortals okay and you got uh you know you know our kingdom which is going to be built with the you know the best of the best of this world the best woods the best odors okay the, the best uh, um you know, uh, 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 precious metals. You know, we're going to be using these things to build our kingdom. All right. You see? The best lands, etc. So hey, we have a lot coming to us. All right. Wait, we're going to be a, a nation that's going to be as the sand of the sea. That's a, you know, that's a great thing. All right. So let's keep reading. Verse 18. While we look not at the things... Which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. You see? They're temporal. Hey, this life is just temporary. Okay? This is not the, the kingdom that's going to last forever and ever. You see? It says in the book of Isaiah that, the, that, that Israel is going to be saved world without end. Meaning an age. Okay? An age without end. We're going to have a kingdom that's going to, you know... Last forever. This is what we're, you know, looking for, uh, forward to. Okay, not that they are not focused on this present kingdom that's about to be, you know, destroyed very soon. All right, we're not focused on this place. We're focused on the kingdom that's to come, which they we we don't see it, so to speak. You know, hey, hey I'll say this: we do see it though. And that's because the Lord gave us that vision. All right, 
but you know you know physically speaking carnally speaking we don't see it it's not here yet all right but we know what's coming you know by faith all right and let's keep reading it says but it says um but for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal you see and that's a once we get out of this kingdom that's when we get the big w man that's when we're going to be winning we're not going to be like i said taking these small l's all right which like i said that dust you know it stacks on you and that, that's a uh, it's like wear and tear man it gets you know gets tiring from time to time you know you get tired but eventually this is all going to stop man you know we're going to get that big w all right let me get this uh scripture in psalms real quick okay because it says here in the book of psalms uh, let's get this right here. This is Psalms 30 and 5. It says here, For his anger endureth but a moment. You see, the Lord's anger and his wrath is only but for a moment. You know, Yahweh a, a, Shemel a, a, Shai, okay? Yahweh, that's a, 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 that's a man of war. That's an austere power, okay? A strict power, right? You know, a, a, the Lord, he... uh. He does punish, you know, for, 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 for your wrongdoings, but, you know, and he gets angry, but if, he, 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 hey, remember, Heavenly Father, he's very, you know, um, compassionate, merciful, pitiful, as the scriptures say, which we'll probably get that in a moment, you know? And eventually he, he's going to say, you know, enough's enough. And my children have been suffering. They've been crying out to me. They've been trying their hardest, you know, to get right. So, you know what, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to forgive them and, and I'm going to set them on high, which the, that's where they're supposed to be. You know? So it says here, for his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in, in the morning. And that's what's happening, man. All right? Right now, we're in the night. Okay? You know, and we're weeping. Hey, but hey, we're starting to see the sunlight come up. You know, hey, morning's, you know, about, about to hit. Okay? It's about to be morning, you see? So that means joy is coming. That means a, you know, a peace, man. Eternal rest. Okay? That's what's coming. But let's get that, that one scripture that I quoted. Hmm, where is it at? I know it's pitiful too. Here we go, it's Baruch. It's a lot, let me look at some, no, that's, yeah, let's just get straight to the point. All right, this is, um, this is, um, Baruch chapter three, verse two, it says, Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, for thou art merciful, and have pity upon us, because we have sinned before thee. All right, see, the Lord, he's very merciful, and he's pitiful, okay? See, you know, he, he's not always going to be angry. All right. You know, he, he's eventually going to, you know, you know, uh, grant us, you know, you know, rest and peace. You know, this is just but for a moment, you know, this, 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 these afflictions. All right. And, um, it's lucky. Let me see if I can find this. Oh, great. Word rest has a lot of <laughs> so a lot of verses. Let me see if I can type this in. You know what, man? I think I'm just gonna end it off. But point being, though, hey, the, hey, we're we're about to get the kingdom, man. We're about to, you know, get that that rest, man. It's coming, okay? You know, this is not gonna, you know, you know, last forever and ever. All right. The you know, Lord has, you know, great things, co you know, coming to us. Well, this is not gonna be the end all, be all. You know, we're not always gonna be at the bottom suffering. 
you know, having bad luck, so to speak. No, I think things are going to change very soon, and they are changing. You know, thing, things are, you know, really happening. Lord's fighting for us, all right? You know, you know, we just got to, you know, wait, be patient. Eventually, the Lord, you know, he's going to, you know, he's going to, uh, you know, take, you know, well, he's taking care of us now. But, you know, he's going to, he's going to uplift us. He's going to, uh, you know, set us up in um, the rulership seat very soon. All right. But that's pretty much, it. you know, just straight to the point. A little, like I said, a little skillful adding. Like I said, I don't even think that video that the LDU, the Uriah, um, was recording. I don't think that, uh, that video is, um, uh, going to be posted because, uh, his phone, uh, went out right as we were ending. And I don't think it ended up actually saving. All right. But, uh, you know, hopefully this was still an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, El Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers. Shalom, Juan.